Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. Uh, it's Today's the last day. Tomorrow is the open. Obviously, when you guys are watching it, we've already been open because we film a little ahead, but the point is we're gonna move some things around, try to start getting all of these enclosures filled up the best we possibly can because tomorrow's the day. There's a lot to do. Later on, I'm gonna show you guys all the things that we still have to do. Jay's in there uh, cleaning some stuff up with Al Macino. Oh my gosh, it's uh, the pressure is on, guys. I'm excited, I'm nervous. I'm, uh, the, the amount of emotions going through my head are crazy, but we have our work to get done today. So let's go ahead, move some stuff around, start to get these enclosures filled up, and uh, get ready for tomorrow the best we can. Hey, Lori, can you do me a favor today? I know you've got a lot going on, but do you think we could paint the back door brown? It just looks bad. The back door brown. What? What are you doing? Stop trying to micromanage me. I've got my list. From the moment we fixed this out with Stuart, the thing that came to my mind was black-headed pythons. I kept thinking this is perfect for black-headed pythons because they love to climb. They get in the crevices in the wild and stuff like that. This is perfect. Now, could I put one black-headed python in here? Yeah, I could, but two would be better. Now, I just want to preference by the fact that black-headed pythons do eat other snakes, but typically you can cohabitate them. So I'm going to put them in here, get this enclosure ready, and then I have to keep a really close eye on them for the first couple days so that there's no kind of problems with them trying to eat each other. Uh, again, these guys have been separate. Worst case, I pull one out and we have one in here, but I think it's gonna be super cool if there's two blackheads in here. So let's just get some bedding in this cage, get it all fixed out, move them over and uh, hope for the best. actually snap and this is pop of course we have crackle already over there so uh, again never been together not sure what's gonna happen I'll just release them and like I said really pay attention to them for the next hour or so and then keep an eye on them like I said for at least a couple days I think they'll be completely fine I've seen them cohabit before so let's just go ahead and uh, they're gonna look gorgeous in that enclosure gonna be cool I'm actually gonna release them onto the rocks because again this is kind of how you would find them in the wild is on these rocky crevices so we we'll just roll ahead release one here and then one on the other side and we'll give these guys a little time to to get acquainted Wow they look amazing there you go guys again they're gonna be able to go in all these little cracks and crevices oh my god I gotta step back and just take a look at this this is dope Oh my gosh, that is incredible. This is, <laughs> when I first saw this enclosure, this in my mind is what I was envisioning and it looks so incredible. So again, we'll just keep an eye on them. They seem to be doing their own thing. Uh, so we'll see what happens over the next little bit and fingers crossed, because this is going to be an awesome exhibit. Hey, Lori. Yeah. Did you, uh, you going to paint the door today? Jesus. Got my buddy Miguel always for always forgetting Python. <laughs> always That's forgetting right, guys. <laughs> Got my buddy Miguel here from Always Evolving Pythons. He's gonna be vlogging a bunch of stuff, so I'm gonna put a link in the description. Go show him some love. Uh, check out all that type of stuff. But uh, you had one request for me. Yes, I want to take an Instagram picture with you to get that clout. And we're gonna do it with Lucy. So uh, we're gonna take Lucy out and see what happens. She's been 50-50. Uh, you know, sometimes she's been in a good mood lately. Uh, sometimes she's been in a bad mood lately. So let's see what happens. Come on, big girl. What are you doing today? You okay? You in a good mood? To, uh oh. You're okay. Dude. Right. Yep. Miguel, I'm gonna need the help. Gonna need a little help, Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good over here, man. Yeah. 
Dude, I'm Brian. I'm sorry for making you do this, man. No, I apologize. It's fun, man. <laughs> fun. Dude. All in a day's work. All for a night cheap picture, dude. I'm so sorry. I should probably get ready. Yep, you're good. You're good. We'll let her crowd around for a second. Wear her out just a little bit. Right, how big is she now? She's 20 foot 2 inches. Wow. You ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have at it. <laughs> this is usually when people get bit. It's when it gets back. Are you serious? Yeah. I don't want to do it now. That's why I'm not doing it. I'm not silly. All right, so what do I do? Just grab and put it in? Yeah, just like right about here. I'll see. You know, right about there and just kind of maneuver. And she loves to watch. She'll go right up into the tree. Perfect. She's a victim of... Uh, Fred, do you want to hold this thing real quick? Here we go. Here we go. There you go. Just like that. Oh, she's not going to go... That's where she almost always goes in the tree. See how it was mine when I told you I was a pro? I know, right? Here she goes. Here she goes off. <laughs> Dang. Whew. Look at her. She goes right back up. Oh, you were being tree. serious. She yeah, does go up yeah, there. Yeah, that's what she does. It's like a, it's, she's got OCD. She's a, she's a reticulated python with OCD. <laughs> so that was fun. That's good. Nice little break from the insanity uh, of getting ready for the reptarium to open tomorrow. So. That was fun. So honestly, you can kind of see that uh, it's a disaster in here because we've got stuff all over the place. That's because we have so much work to get done today and early tomorrow because we have some tours tomorrow too. So tomorrow's almost a wash. We've got to almost really get everything done today to be totally honest with you. We're still putting a bunch of plants up over here. Uh, I got to fill the tank, the turtle tank up a little bit, hide these cords, so on like that. I uh, just got to clean Ivy up a little bit. She pooped in her water, so I've got to drain that. Got to get that done. Get the glasses clean like I showed you earlier. Jay's working on a bunch of glasses. Uh, got to move a handful of more in animals into closure. Still some fixturing out down here. You can see Lori's still dusting over here. Got to paint that door brown. I keep saying, door's got to be painted brown because it just doesn't look that good. You know what Obviously, we're going to have to seam all of this stuff up here. That's not going to happen by tomorrow. I'm going to be honest with you. I think the birthday party room is in good shape. This is also where the VIP party is going to be kind of happening. A little thing uh, left with the, the snake massage room. Um, just got to kind of straighten it up. Obviously, we're not going to get a chance to fixture this out. It's just going to have to be what it's going to be. Just clean up in here. Uh, let's see. What else we got? Fish pond looks like it's completely done. We're not going to have the croc monitor for the open. I'm going to go down to Desiree and Stephen Cush, of course, my old buddy Forrest. I'll talk about this in the future, guys. I know some people have asked me about it. I'm going to dedicate a vlog to my friend Forrest, but why I haven't talked about it is honestly emotionally it's just been a little bit difficult for me so bear with me i promise there'll be more news on that we're getting there and tomorrow's going to be a party man that's what this this weekend's going to be a bash it's going to be amazing and i'm going to just put all the stress behind and just enjoy every minute of it so we're just uh, moistening this cage up because I'm pretty excited about the animals that are going to come over for this enclosure. This by no means will be their end place at all. This is for a short term, but they need a lot of humidity. They like uh, a lot of moisture as well as aquaticness to it. So uh, you'll see what I've got coming over. I unboxed them a couple weeks ago and uh, people are going to love these things. They're so cool. But again, really dampening up the bedding and then we'll put a nice little water basin in there for the kind of go in and then some climbing stuff it's going to be cool so let's just go get them and you'll see what i'm putting in here and that's right these are the two little monkeys that are going over of course my caiman lizards unbelievable again these are going to get pretty large so uh this enclosure is just going to be a temporary fix for sure but here in the next probably you know six months or so i've got an idea where i'm going to put these guys that will be for at least another couple years so uh super cool animals dream animals for sure so let's just go ahead slowly get them over to this new place and uh, get them set up and people are gonna freak out when they see these guys. Yeah, not exactly the most beautiful setup right here. So we'll fix something else up, put this kind of log here for them to crawl on. They can get under here, kind of stuff like that. Look at how cool these things are. I mean, they are ridiculous. Some of the coolest lizards ever in the world, but again, very aquatic lizards. So a lot of people make the mistake of setting these guys up without a big water basin. So uh, like I said, we'll have Stuart maybe make us something that looks more naturalistic than this Tupperware bowl in here. But uh, for now, this is gonna work at least for the opening weekend. And like I said, I have an idea for them uh, here in the next several months where uh, they can grow really large and be really cool. So I'm just gonna release this little monkey and they look dope. Wow. We got some of our signage going up here, Reptarium exclusive plushies. We've got feeding, we've got the snake massage, we've got the fish boss. So Lori, uh, what oh, you man. got what's like high priority on your list right now? 
Just everything? Everything. Yeah, I know. We're, we're running out of time. We're like, we're like 20, I think it's about 24 hours right now away from open. So, holy cow. To do. Did you see the door in the back that needs to get painted though? The, the painted door, brown? Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and use this cage here for my guy Jeffrey. Of course, the Hypo Granite Burmese Python, giving him a nice big enclosure, something that's easy to get him out because he's gonna be a hit over here. So let's get this habitat set up and uh, bring him on over. Snake is gonna look so good in this enclosure. I can just see him climbing up on the big rocks and just kind of draping all over. He's gonna love it. There you go, Jeffrey. There you go, buddy. Go explore. One more animal that's gonna come over today and uh, we are close to being done, but we are gonna move a couple things over here too. So I guess we're never really done, but by tomorrow we'll be done. Let's work on this game. is actually Cupcake, the giant boa constrictor. Now we actually had her over at the Reptarium when we first opened up and she stressed out. She didn't like being there. But now it's been a little over a year. It's a different environment, different cage. So let's see how she does. We'll put her over there. If she doesn't do well, we can always bring her back to BHB. She's just such an impressive animal. I sure would love to have her on display. You guys know that I love putting animals into new enclosures. She's got me wrapped up good. She is definitely a big snake. So we're gonna go ahead, just let her in here and see where she wants to go. There you go, big girl. She is such a big snake for a boa constrictor. Again, that's a pretty impressive display animal right there. So you guys know I love this. Moving a few animals. I'm gonna just spend a little time just watching my snakes in their new environment. Uh, and by the way, this was going to be my sloth display. I'm still have, holding out hope that maybe one day I'll be able to put a sloth in here. Not with Cupcake, obviously, but uh, wow, she looks, she still looks big, even in this huge enclosure. Definitely freaking out, guys. Uh, one more day. Tomorrow is the day. It's exciting, right? We've been working on this for so many months. Tomorrow starts the new adventure of the Reptarium. Might not be 100% done, but it's gonna be 99.9% .9 done. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Let me know in the comments what your favorite part has been so far. It's gonna be a lot of cool stuff in the future. I have a podcast, if you don't know. It's called Checking In. You can subscribe to it and check it out right there. Over here is a playlist of building the Reptarium. On this side, you can subscribe to the vlog channel. Turn the post notifications on for me, please. Have a wonderful day. Remember to be kind to someone. I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.